Welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome to full reaction from that Champions League draw. Because it has been done, it is absolutely crazy and Barca have been placed in a challenging group. There is no question about that. We are going to be tested to the max and Lewandowski an immediate return to Bayern. We're going to be talking all about that at every single group from this year's tournament. It is coming up for you. It is big. So come on, let's do it. And today's full reaction is coming to you courtesy of the One Football app, the place where you can stay updated with all of the latest news in the footballing world, especially now in the final days of the transfer window. And you're going to be wanting to get more reaction on this Champions League draw, all the matches as they happen, videos and live updates. You can get it there. So please indeed download the app from the link in the description below. And a big thank you, as always, to One Football for that support but if we do kick off today's reaction by first of all looking at the pots because this was before all of the draw took place this was the pots in which each team were placed and of course this is basically the Champions League seedings and there was a possibility that in today's Champions League draw Barca could have had a reunion with Eintracht Frankfurt they were in pot one after winning the Europa League there was also a chance that we could have got Benfica again in pot three but that did not happen and you can see the sheer strength there, not only of pot one, but plenty of quality as well in pot two. So really, really competitive groups that we are going to see. And in terms of the scheduling, this year's tournament is set to kick off in just under two weeks time. We haven't got long before we're thrown into the group stage and we are going to know who has made it through by the start of November. The final this year is going to be in Istanbul, Turkey. It's going to be a slightly later date there of June the 10th, which of course is due to the World Cup break this coming winter. But which teams are going to make it all the way? These are the groups. Because indeed, in Group A, we had a draw there of Ajax. They were in pot one. Liverpool, of course, runners-up in the Premier League last season. Those two drawn together once again. Napoli are in there as well. They look really promising this season, Napoli. I've got to say, they've made some good signs. Almost like a new chapter, it feels like, in Naples. And also Rangers returning to the Champions League. They did brilliantly there to get through the qualification process. And that certainly looks like an exciting group. Plenty of good games there. Good atmospheres as well in that group as well. So that one should be a good one. I think Group B is looking very good, I've got to say, for Atletico Madrid. They're a team this season who have real quality. Once again, so many options in their squad, especially in the attacking areas. They've been paired there with Porto and Bayer Leverkusen and also Club Bruges as well. We're going to be keeping an eye on Ferran Jukla's progress out in Belgium. He started well over there. Now for a minute, we are going to leave Group C. I'm going to come on to that because we've got to go fully into that one. That one is kind of chaos and it's kind of brilliant as well. So we're going to come back to that. Group D is going to be Eintracht Frankfurt there in pot one. They went first into the group. They're going to be paired with Tottenham and also Sporting Lisbon and Marseille. That looks there like a good group for Tottenham. They're building, of course, and Antonio Conte had a very solid start to the season and they'll be fancying their chances there of getting out of the group. But as we know, as certainly as Barcelona fans, you cannot underestimate Eintracht Frankfurt in Europe. Then there's Group E, AC Milan, champions, of course, of Italy last season. They are in the group there with Chelsea. That is really exciting. That'll be a fantastic clash there. Also, Salzburg and Dinamo Zagreb make up Group E. Group F. For Real Madrid, you've got to say it's looking like a very good group. The reigning champions in Europe, Real Madrid there. Leipzig are going to be joining them. Timo Werner back at the club now, of course. Shakhtar Donetsk are there as well. And also Celtic. Two Scottish teams in the Champions League main draw this season. And then Group G. This one for me, very exciting too. Good quality in this group. Man City leading it. Sevilla, for me, they've got a lot of work to do this season. They haven't started well. They haven't really had a good summer either. Certainly got work to do in this group because Dortmund are there as well. They were in pot three, one of the really dangerous teams there. And of course, what that means is that Erling Haaland will return immediately to his former club and FC Copenhagen making up their group G. Group H, 
Paris Saint-Germain, Juventus, that is going to be a really, really good clash. Benfica, of course, they hurt us last season. They are in there at the third spot in the group, and also Maccabee will make up Group H, and certainly Paris Saint-Germain will be fancying their chances not only of getting out of this group, but of course they've got aspirations of going deep in this tournament in the coming season. But we have to talk about Group C. We have to talk about what is probably going to be deemed this year as the group of death. And Barca find themselves firmly thrust into it. We have Bayern Munich once again against Barca in the group stage. We've also been drawn against Inter Milan. That is something, by the way, that we've seen plenty of times over the past few years. We are getting very, very familiar with meeting with Inter and also the Czech Republic champions there, Victoria Pilsen, also find themselves in Group C. But what a mouth-watering clash that will be. Barca, Bayern, rematches of last season. We know they've beaten us badly in recent years. We've certainly got a score to settle. And now we have Robert Lewandowski. For him to already so soon into his Barca career, to be going back to face Bayern, he openly said, I didn't really want this. You know, before the draw came out, he was saying, I didn't really want to go back and face Bayern that soon. But he's going to. And it is going to be so, so exciting there to see how the two teams have come on, the improvements that hopefully Barca have made. And don't rule out Inter either. They ran AC Milan, of course, their big rivals, so, so closely in the league last season. Narrowly missed out. And they've had a really good summer. So that, for me, is a group that will test us as a club. It will test the business that we've done this summer, the players that have come in. And, of course, Xavi, big pressure on this season. This group will only intensify this pressure but this is what you want when you're talking about the Champions League when you're talking about historic nights big occasions the moments the games that you wait for this is it this is what it's all about and although it's tough and although these games they really are going to test us we could have had much easier games than this but I'm excited for it. I am ready to embrace this challenge. And I think that Barca and all of the players and the coaching staff at the club right now, they are going to feel exactly the same way. It's an opportunity to show what we can do, to keep sending out these messages, to keep showing the footballing world that we are still right there. We are ready to make that comeback and really return to where we belong. It starts right here. And this is the time that we must shine Please let me know, guys, what do you think there that Barca have been drawing against Bayern once again? Inter in that group as well. I don't want to be disrespectful or write off either Victoria Pilsen. And also in terms of the other group as well, what groups stand out for you who are looking favourites to get through? And who are you really fancying for this year's Champions League? Please do let me know all of that down below. And of course, there is going to be more reaction. We're going to be talking so much more about what's to come. It should be exciting. It should be in three ruling and let's hope for Barca that it can be really really joyous too I will see you soon guys with all of that good stuff to come thanks for joining me today for the full reaction I'll see you soon but until next time as always Vizca El Barca oh.